We spent this series looking into the fundamental ideas that make graph databases work and how Neo4j stands apart as an implementation of these concepts. We talked about data models, complexity and knowledge, what scaling really means, and finally, some basic design patterns you can start thinking about. These tools are quite powerful, as they move a lot of the heavy lifting into the database to make you more productive and let you create more flexible setups with less compromises. Of course, the complexity doesn't simply disappear. It still needs to be managed, and that is where Neo4j excels. As we have seen, we have put a lot of thought and effort into building our platform, and we continuously improve and optimize our products to expand their capabilities. It's not just the Neo4j DBMS that is important here. The entire graph platform that Neo4j offers beyond these fundamentals is what allows different tasks like data visualization and machine learning to be equally easy and powerful. So far, we have focused on the present features and uses of Neo4j. But now let's discuss what the future of data management could look like. When we talked about graph composition, Fabric was featured mostly as a scalability tool, stitching multiple databases together. But we didn't talk about the opportunities it presents. The one that I find the most exciting is distributed query planning. Neo4j already features the most advanced planner and optimizer for graph queries. And the next step in its evolution is to make it capable of planning queries across databases. Our architecture allows us to do so across systems, cloud providers, or storage engines, letting us scale without bounds and take optimal advantage of every member of a cluster, making queries run even faster as your dataset grows. A related topic is distributed transactions, which allow for massively parallel L concurrent updates against multiple databases while maintaining atomicity and durability. Our experience allows us to not only reliably implement these taxing updates, but to also make their complexity transparent to the user. This leads to Neo4j Aura and what it means to run a graph database in the cloud. The opportunities this shift introduces are much more than shifting administrative tasks to a managed service. A true graph platform should allow for arbitrary collections of databases to come together on demand and perform the full spectrum of data management operations while being reliable and performant. Aura allows us to develop sophisticated systems and techniques that soon will let you mix various databases and instance types to achieve dynamic workload management, execute intensive graph analytics, and perform ad hoc complicated traversals without having to ever leave the simple declarative interface of Cypher. These are examples of features we are already working towards, which are not that far out in the future. So, can we speculate even further? What can we imagine if we free ourselves from the current technical constraints while still remaining realistic in our expectations? We already saw the possibilities that open up when we compose graphs, but we always discussed it as composition driven by the query. We assume you already know which graphs should be composed ahead of time. But what if the system could figure that out on its own? In other words, what if Neo4j had a way to discover other graphs that could be composed together to generate better results for your query? To go back to our web store example, you could ask for the recommendation algorithm to run on the purchases subgraph. But the system could figure out that by adding the product feedback subgraph, it could discover more higher quality paths. Of course, it would need access to a repository of available graphs, some way to discover the schemas, and so on. But that would all be behind the scenes. You could simply ask for the shortest path between two entities 
and the system would answer by bringing together databases. I think talking about these long-term goals highlights two things. One is what we mean when we say that scalability is all about managing complexity. This future system would be extremely complex, but as long as you interact with it in a declarative manner with clear semantics, the complexity is isolated where it should be, inside the DBMS. The other is what horizons open up when you start thinking in terms of graphs and knowledge instead of lower level logistical concerns. This is the transformation that the graph data model brings and that's how Neo4j stands apart. Graphs are exciting primarily because they let us look at data, databases and knowledge in new ways and open up our horizons towards new techniques and new ideas. We at Neo4j are at the forefront of this revolution and we are looking forward to sharing our future innovations with you.